In today's quick Thursday tip, we're gonna talk about how to upload a file with Power Apps to your SharePoint and set metadata at the same time. So we've covered uploading files before, but today we're gonna to concentrate on setting the metadata, which is a pretty quick little thing. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys, no, not Rudolph, the little sign above them. And with today's show, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about setting metadata in your SharePoint document libraries at the same time you're uploading files. So a while back, I made a super popular video, like 56,000 views type of popular on how to upload files. I finally cracked that nut. And a lot of people have recently had the question around, hey, how do I upload that file? But at the same time, I want to set some metadata to that document library. So today we're going to dive in. We're going to take the app we'd already built and we're just going to add in that. And it's a super quick ad, so it shouldn't be very complicated. So let's just switch over to my desktop and take a look. Here on my desktop, you can see I've got the app open. And what we do, right, is we're like, hey, I want to upload a file. So we click on the little plus and then we can pick any file. So we can do images, we can do, um, you know, Excel files, Word documents, it doesn't matter. Any type of file will work. So here we'll just grab this one of uh, Chewy sitting. There you go. Or Chewy with his ears. Ha <laughs> Poor dog. So we're going to spin, it uploads, and a moment later it's done. And if we click on the launch SharePoint file button, there is Chewy with his ears being held up. We're so mean to that poor dog. Not really. Chewy is loved. Anyway, so now that we've done that, a lot of you followed up and said, hey, how do I add metadata to that? Okay, so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here to our SharePoint document library. And if we scroll down a little bit, we should be able to find, so there is Chewy's ears, right? A few seconds ago. So we know that's working. And so let's add a column to this document library. So here I'm going to click on the list settings or library settings, not list settings. It's all the same. And so then down here, we'll just go add a column, we'll create a column, and then we'll just call it file comments. Now remember my thing about not building these with spaces, right? That's just what you should do. So single line of text, we'll say okay. And so then now that we've got that done, perfect. What we're going to do is if we look, right, really if you remember from your app, the way that this really works, right, is we go here and say on add file. After we do a bunch of JSON stuff, and remember this is covered in that previous video, I'll put a link to that. Or if you're a subscriber at powerapps911.com's training library, remember you can just go over here and be like, hey, give me that file real quick, right? So go here. And then you go right here and you search for upload. And then there's the formulas. And more importantly, there is the uh, app. And then as soon as I finish this video down here in this QTC, QTT section will be this demo app available for download also. Anyway, so back over here, um, right? So we ran this, but really the key is that it's, it runs this flow called DL Playtime. And so if we go over to flows, I have the flow open and it's just a simple Power Apps trigger. We do a create file. Remember the file content, we have to do that whole um, convert it, you know, base 64 to uh, binary, but we did that. And so now that we want to set metadata, what we're going to do is we're just going to edit this flow. We're going to go right here. We're going to say add an action. We're going to search for SharePoint. There is SharePoint. And so in here, there should be something about update a file properties. I don't know why I want to search. There you go, update file properties. So you choose that. You then need to navigate to that same SharePoint site, right? For me, that's Power Apps Videos. And then my library name is uh, Documents. And then for the ID section, what you're going to do is you're going to use the dynamic content from the create file, right? So that's the file you just created. So grab it. And so then now look, there's file comments. And so we can be like, let's test this. And that looks good. So we're going to say save. And because we just did the upload, and this is why if you're building this at home, right, you'd want to do the upload as well. I can just do a little test and just grab that test we did three minutes ago and it'll reprocess. So it's going to upload that same file again, which we already knew worked. But what I want to see is, does it set my metadata? You always just want to do this, right? I like to prove to myself that it works the easy way and it didn't fail. So if we go over to our document library, we'll do a quick refresh and then we'll scroll down here and we'll find Chewy and his lovely ears again. There it is. And if we scroll to the right, file comments, let's test this. Yeah, cool, right? So you're like, machine, I don't wanna hard code this. That's fair. So, but now that we know that it works, what I want you to do is we're gonna go back over here to our flow and we're going to delete out, let's test this. And then over here under dynamic content, 
We're going to scroll down here now. A common mistake you guys are going to make and yell at me for is you're going to click one of these. You can't use one of these uh, pieces because we're already using these Ask and Power Apps. So you have to say See More and then you have to say Ask and Power Apps again. So then now there is a new Ask and Power Apps for Update File Properties File Comments. All right. So that's good. We're going to save our flow. You'll also notice over here is a little red dot. Flow's like, hey, things are broken. And if you click, well, if we had clicked it sooner, you would have seen that the error was saying, you've changed this. You got to go tell Power Apps you changed this. Fair enough. We're going to jump to our Power App. Oh, that's Power Apps in this window. And what you want to do is you've got to go over here to your data, or you might have to do view data sources depending on your app. But so here, DL Playtime, unfortunately, there is not a reload. So you have to remove it. My app is really mad at me right now. That's fair. We're going to insert a button now. And so when we insert this button, we're going to say action and power automate. And then somewhere in this hot mess of hundreds of flows that I've built, I got to find that same flow again, right? You guys probably are not going to have 200 of these, but maybe you do. I hope you don't. So there's DL Playtime. Unfortunately, there's not a search. So you find it. So this is going to add it back as a data source into our app. And so now that it's back in there, now just delete the button you just added up here. That's gone. If you look at your data sources, it's back in, yay. But you still have an error. And the reason for that is because if we look here, you're gonna see an error you guys see a lot, right? Invalid number of arguments, received two, expected three. That's because we said we were asking Power Apps for three things now, right? We just created a new one. So go after the two that were there, do a comma. Ah, oh, now it wants the file comments. Well, cool. So what are we gonna do? How about this? We'll just grab a cute little text input right here. We'll throw it on the screen. That'll work. We'll go back to here and we'll say, all right, I want you to send over whatever is in text input one, text input one dot text. So whatever we type in there will become the file comments. Cool. All right. So then maybe, you know, at this point, right, because it's a, qu a quick video, right? I can't go into all of the like making it pretty and stuff, but just keep in mind, you could disable this, right? So if you didn't want them to be able to upload it when they did a comment, you just do some of your normal conditioning formatting to make it so that people couldn't do it. We'll also get rid of the default text here. But now if we do play, we'll do this. We'll hit the little plus. And then how about we'll search for Chewy again? Oh, I got to pull this up so you guys can see the whole thing. Sorry. Roop, roop. There we go. We'll search for Chewy. Oh, not on my desk. Yeah, we got Chewy and then... Chewy Naughty, right? A little, little Christmas theme. Remember, and I keep showing you guys um, images because they're fun, but you could be doing this with any file type. Don't don't overthink that. So Chewy Naughty, we'll say open. Oh, see, it says I messed up my logic, right? So I didn't do this the way we wanted to because we just sent over the word text input. But if we check over here now, we should be able to find, do a little refresh, Scroll down and find Chewy Naughty. There it is a few seconds ago. And if we just highlight it, make it easier as we scroll sideways. So it did text input. All right, let's do one more test because I screwed that up and be like, Chewy looking good. There we go. And the other thing I didn't like was that this was on top of my spinner. So I would just grab this and take my spinner and say, hey, you, I always want you at top. So bring that to the front. All right, so we got that, we got that. We'll click on this. And now we'll just find another Chewy picture. Here, we're going to scroll down here. Doo, 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 doo. Chewy, where are you? There you go. Chewy sitting on the couch. Chewy looking good. So that should have just uploaded. If we click on this, this should show us our file. Perfect. And if we go back over to SharePoint, we should have somewhere in this hot list. I'll just do a refresh again. And so there's image 4749, right? Because that one did not have a nice name and then Chewy looking good. And remember, if you want to have them set a file name and all that, you can add all that. But the key thing I want you guys to take from this was you already knew how to do all these pieces. You just had to take after you create file step and add update file properties. You could update as many file properties as you want. You can do whatever you want. Once you kind of realize that you created the file and you know the ID, do updates, email people links to it, whatever you guys are thinking you can do here. So Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this cutie is exactly what you're looking for. Just a quick little answer to all your solutions. And hopefully you like my Christmas decorations. All right. With that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here. So that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. 
If you need any help or you want to work together, whether your problem is big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all. I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.